And our live team coverage on the weather turns to the snow heading our way for later tonight. Springfield among several communities already canceling school for tomorrow. But what about the actual snow removal plans as the storm comes into town? Western Mass News reporter James Villalobos getting answers on how the city's Department of Public Works is preparing this time around. James joins us live in Springfield with the details. James? Well, Chris and Beth, this is something that we've been talking about for weeks now. Things have been tense between city residents and the DPW, but we are told tonight that crews are ready to respond to this next batch of snow. I sat down with Chris Signoli, the director of the DPW, and he tells Western Mass News that they have been monitoring this forecast closely. The DPW has 20 of their own trucks, but in addition, all 150 of the city's contractors have been called in to respond to the storm. Signoli says the crews will be staggered. He says they have begun pre-treating some streets, but will wait until after rush hour for the rest. There's also a parking ban in effect in Springfield starting at 7 p.m. And both city leaders and the DPW say that following issues with the last storm, you want to make sure you abide by this one. We usually ticket three times the amount that we tow. A lot of people get a ticket and end up moving. And a lot of people see that we're coming and, you know, don't want to get towed, so they get out of the street. Springfield police confirmed that they will be out tonight ticketing parking ban violators. And in addition, if you do live on a side street, DPW crews will wait until there's two inches on the ground before they begin plowing those side streets. But like any storm, uh, Signoli says that they're asking for at least 12 hours. That way they can have that time to respond. I'm live in Springfield, James Villalobos, Western Mass News.